discussing it. A lot of times, people that are frequent to comment on blogs, people that post in forums a lot of times, they'll be more than happy to help you out with something. And if you let them know, you know, send them a private message or something, let them know I'm doing some research or I'm putting something together. How much you disclose of that is kind of up to you. A lot of people, you know, if you tell them out, you know, out up front, I'm going to create this information product and sell it, then they might say, well, you know, you're going to have to give me some money or something for me to help you out with this. Uh, so, and, and it's up to you if you want to do that. You can tell them, you know, yeah, here, uh, here's a hundred bucks. I'll help if you could just help me out with this, or you can tell them I'll give you a percentage of the sales, whatever you want to work it. But it's entirely up to you how much you disclose of that. Let's take a look. Here's some resources. Uh, again, a lot of these to get a bazillion ideas, more ideas than you'll ever be able to handle. Ehow.com, mygoals.com, so you wanna.com. That's a really good one. Uh, particularly, what, what they do there is people, you know, they want to learn how to do something, and people will actually post how, here's how you do it. This is a great place to go to get ideas for what people are wanting to know. So there's no point in you going out, you know, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money doing research. You don't have to even spend a bunch of time doing research on what people want to know about. You go to these sites and it's there for you. You can see what people are interested in and what they want to know. All you have to do is create it and they'll be practically standing in line in order to buy it. Videolearning.com, eBay.com. eBay's got a slew of tools on there telling people what is hot. Go to uh, check out the eBay Pulse. That'll tell you what people are looking for on eBay. So they give you tons of marketing research there. Magazines.com. That's just uh, it's a list of magazines. So is Mr. Magazine.com. Uh, just a list of magazines that people, you know, they, I think they go there and they subscribe actually. But I use it for market research. Because I can go there, I can see, you know, I don't have to actually drive down to Barnes & Noble. I can see what magazines are there. And uh, y you pick your niche based on that. So I could literally, this afternoon, sit down and go through. I could just go to these websites without having any clue of any idea of any kind of product I want to create. I could go there and in probably an hour, I could have two or three dozen niches, different niches written down on paper and it would be you know things that I'm actually interested in that I, maybe I didn't even know that I was interested in also word tracker I want to mention that one because you want to go there again you want to see uh, if there is search volume that's another way that we can justify or qualify a particular